my beloved Bed-Stuy. But before we get into experiencing my neighborhood, I wanted to give a little background for those of you who do not know. New York City is broken up into five boroughs. You have the Bronx, which is not pictured, and it's like way up. Um, then you have Manhattan. You have Queens, which is the biggest borough. Then you have Brooklyn, which is the second biggest borough. And then you have Staten Island over to the left. So I live in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, again, is comprised of different neighborhoods. You see Williamsburg, you see Bushwick, you see Ocean Hill, Crown Heights, Brownsville, Park Slope. And then you also see Bedford Stuyvesant. Bedford Stuyvesant, also known as Bed Stuy, is what I'm showing you now. It is comprised of different streets. Uh, Nordstrom Ave, Bedford uh, Avenue are some of the more popular ones, as well as Lafayette, Housley, uh, Atlantic. So it's a pretty big neighborhood, and I am going to be showing you guys that today. Before we actually get into that, a couple of people who are from Bed-Stuy, of course, Biggie, you got Jay-Z, you got Lil' Kim, you got Chris Rock, who actually had a show, Everybody Hates Chris, that depicted his life in Bed-Stuy, Lena Horne, and surprisingly to me, Nora Jones. I didn't know she was from BK. So let's go on and get into it. All right, so just saw a disgusting rat on the street. Um, but right now I'm going to go to grab a smoothie from this place called Brooklyn Blend that is super good. Um, Beyonce actually featured them on her website as far as a black owned business. So I am just excited. I've been there a couple of times before, but I live a little bit further away now. Um, so this is my first time going like this year for sure. So yeah, excited. So on the corner of the same street where Brooklyn Blend is on is Roscoe's Pizza, which has some really, really good pizza. Um, I'm gonna get a smoothie from Brooklyn Blend, so I don't think that I should get a slice of pizza, but if you ever see a Roscoe's, the pizza is good. a little sneak peek of their menu they only do breakfast and lunch but their food is really good like they always have a lot out the door um their menu items are basically named after references in brooklyn either a neighborhood or a street or brooklyn nets things like that which is so dope to me um so yeah so i got the brownsville nut it's really, really good. It's peanut butter, vanilla, spices, almonds, oats. This is really good. So now I'm just walking. Um, I was going to take y'all to Home Depot, but I'm not going to do that. But we do have a Home Depot in this neighborhood, too. <laughs> trash can on every corner yet there's always trash on the ground wanted to highlight that this is one of the grocery stores I get a lot of questions like how do you guys grocery shop there's literally probably just in bed style alone maybe 20 probably over 20 grocery stores there's one every couple of blocks so it's very easy to grocery shop here something that I didn't know until I moved here so yeah we grocery shop just fine and then there's also a gas station um, I think this may be like I think there's three here um, this was surprising to see when I moved here. You don't know taking a It's a it's a video. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm showcasing Bed Stuy. This is one of the bike shops, the best bike shop. <laughs> it's a video too. This is my bike shop that I go to. I love these guys. They're so nice, so professional, and they always help me out. I literally come here maybe three times a week just to talk to them. So go to AJ Bikes in bed -Stuy. This 
this is Natty Garden, um, also in bed sty This is where I get um, some of my plants. Um, it's black owned, which I really, really love. That's one of the things I do love about living in Brooklyn is that there are just so many black owned businesses here. And to have a black owned plant shop is just, I love plants. If you guys haven't seen my video. Um, and just to know that it's like within walking distance is super great. So definitely check them out as well i believe they have another location um but i'll of course link everything down below and then just showing you guys that there's always restaurants everywhere um and we've taken full advantage of the outdoor seating on the street this is a new restaurant i've never been to called zigzag but yeah just letting you guys see that as well and then just gonna show you some other things that I saw along the way. One of the things I love about living in Bed-Stuy is just like, look at these brownstones, y'all. Just look at the houses. Uh, so little fun fact is that Bed-Stuy actually has the largest collection of intact or largely untouched Victorian architecture in the country, which I think is so dope. Um, also rent here for the average for a one bedroom is a little bit over 2000, which is a decrease because of COVID, which last year it was around 2300. So definitely a more, it is getting very expensive because of gentrification, um, but you can still kind of find deals underneath the the average price and just showing you guys that people do laundry <laughs> just wanted to show you that you know it's normal to see people walking with their laundry and then there's a repairman <laughs> headed to this black on one store which I love going to they're so informative and so nice um, I'm gonna pick up probably two bottles of wine I'm starting my I took a little sabbatical from my wine page on Instagram and I'm bringing it back so I'm gonna pick up a couple of bottles from there um, so I can get back into the swing of things but it's hot and I just spent $30 on some stuff that I wasn't planning on spending money on. 
Um, I bought this outfit, like this African print outfit, so we shall see. But uh, I'm glad that it's not raining. And it's a lot of people out, like tons of people are out today. It is, it's not crazy yet, but it's still warm outside and it's like, it's just so much going on. And I saw myself spending a whole lot of money that I didn't account for. So I'm coming back in for a little bit. I need to charge up my camera battery cause it's not about to die, but it's getting low. So I need to charge that. I need to charge my phone. Um, while I'm here, I'm, I'm gonna take out these clothes, decompress, I'm gonna eat some food that I got in here um because i just saw myself like trying to so show footage as well as like trying to go broke like <laughs> there's just so much stuff happening outside <laughs> there's so much stuff that's outside is expensive outside is expensive and it's like right here in my neighborhood where everything is happening too so I'm just not make happy hour um but i still love this place so i usually didn't even know they had happy hour until like last week so that's where i thought i would come but this is called bedvine cocktails i love this place i love the outdoor a lot of restaurants in brooklyn and i'm pretty sure in new york all over um have these like backyard type of situations which i absolutely love you're basically in the middle of like people houses which is just so dope and at night it's just such a great intimate vibe I love it I love it Brooklyn especially best style would not be a night without like something so random happening the fact that she is one of the singers of this song and she's performing at this place that we just you know went to we weren't even gonna go inside and then they start playing some uh, southern music so me and my friend was like let's go in and then we see her and she sings like that is what Brooklyn is just like honestly that's what it's like like I absolutely love it. it's always something random happening that just kind of makes your night so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the day with me in bed sty um, I hope it's some places that you would want to join if you ever do visit and I will see you guys in the next one peace yeah.